Welcome to Look at Her, the Hey Queen after show where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, or even laid with, hey. and spills a little tea. Oh, mm. scandalo! <laughs> or throws a little shade if she has to, or just tells us something we don't know. Today we're here with the beautiful, stunning, gorgeous Honey Davenport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been having fun with us today, baby? Absolutely. <laughs> you are looking so snatched. Thank you. Thank I you. love it. Lady Red, your sister's in the house. Yes, my sister's daughter is here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel like the black girl matching is so strong. It I is. love it. <laughs> <laughs> and Randy, are you loving it too? I love it very much. Randy, oh, give, yeah. give these ladies a little shake, will you? Oh, honey likes it. <laughs> now hop your cute ass out of here, okay? Boop, 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 boop. All right, honey, I know you know how to play this game. Mm -hmm. You're gonna look and you're gonna spell. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let us begin. Okay. <clears throat> Tighten it up, get it all together, and look at her. Evie Oddly. I love Evie Otley. So here's the thing. Evie Otley has a huge fucking dick, like a really big dick. Whoa. Like, <laughs> just like this man is horse hung. When he was painting himself pink, he had like put like a whole bucket of paint on just his dick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have been trying to sleep with Evie since the promo week. We like got really close at one point and not, it didn't happen. And then we were at the underwear party on Fire Island together. Ooh. Right? And I was like playing with his dick and everything. And she, you know, like she won. So, mm. like, you know, just doing my due diligence, honoring the crown. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it didn't happen yet. But I would. Oh my God, I would. Oh, I, li <laughs> I like it. Uh, that was T. That's T. <laughs> okay. Look at her. Mercedes Iman Diamond. Oh, shit. I got. I, I really love my sister Mercedes. Um, she's she's a sweetheart. So we we both got eliminated pretty early, uh, and all the girls who did get eliminated early, we all called each other and cried for weeks and weeks and weeks. Mm. <laughs> uh, and she she was uh, definitely a really good sister who I could like call, and she's always been that. Mercedes is a dope person. I think that's the only T I got. Oh, she got a fat ass too, though. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to see a really emotional side of Mercedes on Drag Race, mm -hmm. but every time we've met her in real life, she's kooky and fun and mm -hmm. has a lot of attitude. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, she's like, that's that's who she is more than the like. I, I was the one in the corner crying the whole time. They were just like, take this camera off this crazy bitch and put it on the other one. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but yeah, she's really together. And now, was Mercedes one of the sisters who was giving you support during? Because you, as we talked about on the main show, you had a kind of rough emotional time during the competition. Um, definite, definitely, uh, during, we, we weren't even that close during, we more so talked after, but during, um, my NYC sisters really had my back. You know, mm. Scarlett and Suge were, we just, we walked in that room and we were like, boom, we got each other. So we really had each other's backs during that experience. That's got to feel good. Yeah, yeah, because NYC breeds some bad bitches. Yes, it and does. <laughs> I've bred some bad bitches in NYC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at her. Oh, Miss Nina West. Nina West. So it feels like all of my tea is about dick, but that makes sense for me. This is going to be a great <laughs> themed episode of uh, Look at Her. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, so during the show, uh, I, I don't believe that this part was aired, but I'm not sure. So if it wasn't aired, I forgot. Oops, sorry. Um, <laughs> um, we did like a, a Mary Fuck Kill, uh, and I was Nina's fuck. So I've been like telling her, I'm like, yo, dad, what's up? Ever oh. since. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> She's making me come undone. <laughs> uh, Nina, Nina is a really, really dope uh, personality, but she's kind of like got that like dad hot look. Mm. I definitely would, I definitely would bone. I think that's my only tea. Is that like I'd hit it. 
Right. Is this episode going to be called Look at Her Bulge? Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> look at her ass. Look at, her, look at that ass. Look at her hole. <laughs> I would want to look at I don't know. I don't think I would want to look at Nina's hole. I think okay. <laughs> I think that Nina would have to be the top. I would I would have to like I'd have to call him daddy. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's something maybe that we didn't see uh, on TV with you and Nina? Um so Nina and I's uh, stations were right next to each other. And uh, I had legit like 48 pairs of nails. Like I had nails from my backup costumes. I spent $20,000, but like I really went like, it was like $80,000 worth of drag. Like I had like good wow. shit. Um, and so when I was there with Nina, we got really close. And so I was like sharing nails and shit with her. So I, I, feel, I feel like I'm part of the success. She's got all of, the, all of the good things going on in her life now. She's doing children's books. I was thinking the other night I was going to make a children's book. Maybe we can make it together. Mm. I'm going to call it The Bees and the Bees. Mm. We'll move on from that topic <laughs> and say, look at her. <laughs> Soju. Soju. She's like, she's an L.A. girl now, so we're about to be L.A. sisters. Uh-huh. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of tea on Soju because she wasn't around for that long. Right. Neither was I. Um, I don't know. Let's see. The tea on Soju. She, Soju is one of, like, from my season, Soju has her own thing going on. I feel like of everybody else, Soju has, like, her own, like, navigation of where she's going to take her own drag and it's not anywhere that any other queen has like done with it not anything that any other queen has done with this platform so i'm excited to see what she does and i'm trying to think of tea wise what i could spill other than the fact that i know she's into water sports um but uh wait oops <laughs> <laughs> i think you did just spill that tea Mm. It's wet. That doesn't tea. That ain't tea. <laughs> That's so juice. <laughs> so juicy. <laughs> okay. Look at uh, But why is this bitch so motherfucking perfect? Like plastic TR, I swear, when I walked into the room in RuPaul's Drag Race, she like stood still for a second and I was like, that ain't even real. That's a mannequin. Like I don't even understand. She's just so fucking flawless. Um, uh, okay, I can spill some plastic tea. Oh, yeah. This is also look at her dick. I'm not looking at plastic dick. She's so perfect. I can imagine having sex with a goddess. Um, <laughs> but we did, I did talk to her about sex at one point, and we were, and uh, it was after the episode where we all came back in uh, for the makeover challenge, and uh -huh. she was like, oh, I'm not into sex. I only have sex for 20 minutes. That's my whole gig, sis. I don't know. I was just like, oh, well, that ain't me, bitch. I need a session. I need a session, not a 20, mm. but this ain't a quickie. <laughs> <laughs> What's a honey Davenport length? See, I, I, I think we have forgotten how great foreplay is. Mm. And like, I need, I need 30 minutes of just foreplay. Like, and, and, and you know, like, you know, 15 minutes of that has to be bomb head. Okay. Um, and not like the toothy kind, but just like, make sure you got all of that relaxed. Because, uh, you know, you got to treat a bitch like a goddess. <laughs> um, uh, and then, you know, I, it, it really depends. It depends on the time of day, because if it's in the morning time and I got to do drag, girl, you just going to get a, you know, but more than 20 minutes, but you might get a bang out for like 30, 45. That's like, I feel like you should be considerate of your bottom. It sometimes takes 45 minutes just to clean out and get ready. You should give them 45 minutes of entertainment back. Well said. <laughs> Lady Red, don't you agree? No. <laughs> uh, Lady Red, are you a 10 minute man? No, I ain't no 10 minute. I mean, listen, I am power hour. I'm ready to do it till, till the walls shake, till the window closes, till the dogs howl and the cats meow. Let's do it. I ain't gonna put no time limit. That's the problem too. People always put time limit on stuff. Let's just do it. Okay. I think y'all are a perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at uh, Silky. Silky nutmeg. Yeah, nice. I don't got no sexual tea to spill. Or I was hanging out with Silky the other day. She said, ain't nobody plowed her box in forever. Oh, really? And I was surprised because one of the best things about being a Rue girl is the trade. Like, for, 
on a season 11 tour, I changed my Grindr profile name to I Fuck My Fans. Oh. And it worked, sis. Really? <laughs> it worked. VIP <laughs> uh, meet and greet. Yeah, right? Yes. yes. The meet and greet. M E A T. But uh, yeah, so um, I don't know. T, T is, Silky is. Uh, I think the least like she was shown on the show of all of my sisters. Um, she is a very compassionate person. She actually knows when to sit back and listen. And it, um, and uh, I really can't find a negative thing to say about somebody who's actually been there like a uh, sister. M more than anybody else who's been on that, who was on that season with me. Silky at every turn and every time I've had something to even fucking cry about is like, always there. Now she recently said on Instagram that she uh, felt pressure from the producers to amp it up, that they were coming to you guys and saying, you don't want a boring season, so keep pumping it up. Can oh, yeah. you give your impressions on that? Oh, well they told us every day that our season was gonna be boring and then I was boring. So I was like, oh, I guess I'm boring. I guess I'm... <laughs> uh, but she was like, I'm gonna go be loud. And I was just like, well, this is who the fuck I am. So um, also the other shit I had going on there. But yeah, it, th there definitely was pressure to amplify it, but it's television. Like that's what, they were giving us a platform to showcase all of the sides of ourselves. And that's part of who she is. I just think that we didn't get to see all of the other things that actually make her interesting. Um, and that's just because it's TV and what we want on TV is catty fights and drama. And it's more about that. But I think that if we put Silky on a show that was about the drag and not the drama, we really get some, some talented art out of her. I love it. Look at ha! For part two of Look at ha, click here. For more incredible episodes of Look at ha, click down here. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe. <laughs>